welcome back to another quick, short edition of Breaking Bread with Bjorn. I'm going to be mixing up a unique dough today, uh, something that I haven't done yet with a flour that I've never used, because, well, I got a gift from the Get Well Cat himself, an awesome friend and a great supporter of the show and all my foolish endeavors over the years. He went on the old Amazon, punched in some numbers, put in my address, and sent me a nice pack of some beautiful double O flour the Italian special double O flour is a finer flour. It's ground more. It's a you know mixture of hard and soft wheats. We're not going to get into the specifics of that. It's used for making pasta, and more specifically, pizza dough and that type of stuff. Because the finer grind on it and just the overall quality of the flour gives a really smooth, silky texture and makes a nice chewy crust. And I'm going to be using this to make up something really tasty. So let's go ahead and get this dough mixed up and then you'll see what I'm making. All right, so it's been like, I don't know, 12, 13 hours. The bread had some time on the counter, then went in the fridge to rise, and here's what we got. The beautiful dough made with the double ot flour, and I'm gonna be making up some delicious focaccias. I think I said that right. A flat bread, not my normal wheelhouse, but I'm feeling a little bit lazy today and don't wanna do a full pizza. So we got a whole assortment of toppings I'm gonna throw on here, and you're gonna see how I go through this whole process of making it. One thing I do want to point out, and we can take a look at the bread here, with the dough, it's this really elastic, kind of sticky, but super, super silky, smooth dough. So that's kind of the main purpose of using the double lot flour is to get that really smooth, soft, chewy crust. I can't wait to see this. The Get Well Cat, Oof, you did it right, son. All right, it's time to put this thing together. The oven's preheated, it's ripping, ready to go. I've never really done this before, but I'm gonna try a couple different methods. One's just gonna be done on a regular old flat sheet. I'm also gonna try one in another gift, for, of, uh, of another gift, rather, courtesy of the Get Well Cat, the infamous cast iron pan that I stole from him many years ago. And we got a whole arrangement of toppings. Of course, some cheese is gonna go on top of everything. Got some beautiful artichoke hearts, some Kalmata olives, capers, some salami. There might be some garlic on there. Who knows? And look at these beautiful, fresh cherry tomatoes that I suppose, while we're putting it all together, let's put a little salt and pepper on them and get those ready. The idea behind this is you just kind of roll the pizza dough out and then smash all this shit on top. And we'll see how it turns out. So you're going to watch me putting these things together. And then we'll taste them and see how they are.
All right, so the first one I did on the flat sheet is done. We're gonna taste it here in a second. Here is the terrible part about filming a cooking show and trying to make a dinner is you got a dog that gets in the way of your microphone cables. No, the hard part is I'm really hungry. I wanna eat this thing. So we're gonna make this short and sweet. It baked up really nice. Had a nice rise to it, nice crisp crust. The toppings got done. It's really hot. I'm gonna burn the roof of my mouth, but let's take a bite. That's excellent. It's got a nice texture to it, nice crispness. Still got the chewiness, but it's smooth. Second bite for good measure. Mm -hmm. The Get Well Cat, he did good sending me this flower. You gotta understand, I'm not a flatbread type of guy. When I see a restaurant and they got flatbreads on the menu, I get up and I walk out. I want pizza. Today, this is something I wanted to try different. Had some great ingredients, fresh tomatoes. Didn't have time to make up a full pizza, so why not? Why not try the focaccia where it's just bread with stuff in it? I'm happy with it. I think you should give it a try on your own at home. It wasn't really that difficult. It's like pizza, but with a little less horsing around and, and, and all those steps. So thank you for watching this. Thank you for checking this out. I'm going to be back sooner than later with another episode. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but this was a fun one. This was a new type of bread I've never really tried, and I'm happy with the result. Thank you to the Get Well Cat for sending me this excellent flour, which I'm going to make some more pizzas. Who knows? Maybe some more flatbreads with it. You never really know. But like I said, I'll be back sooner than later with another episode. And uh, by the way, the cast iron one's still in the oven, so I'll play you out with that as that comes out of the oven. But thank you for watching. Until next time, be kind to one another.